Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for participating in our session uh, today. Together with uh, Ala and Cernievich, we want to tell you about our project. Uh, it's a melodic uh, cloud optimization platform. Uh, it is the platform for optimizing multi cloud deployment. And uh, it is not only optimizing the deployment, but also fully automatically executing the deployment to the different cloud providers. Okay. Hello. Oh. Perfect. Great. Uh, yeah, uh, I will start with a few slides, ju just a few, to, to give you theoretical background for the system, and then Ala will present that um, that live. Yeah. Uh, so Melodic multi-cloud optimization platform. It's fully open source, built by several partners uh, as a open source project, and the aim of the Melodic is to optimize the deployment. Why to use Melodic? First thing is because it is probably the simplest way to deploy application to the multi-cloud. Uh, it is the unified way to deploy virtual machines, containers, serverless, and also big data frameworks. And the deployment is fully automatic. We will show that uh, live. And uh, the deployment is optimized. So that's the unique thing of the Melodic. Melodic is fetching the offers from the different cloud providers and automatically optimize the deployment. Uh, first thing is the model of the application. We are developed our own cloud modeling language, which is cloud agnostic, called CAMEL, Cloud Application Modeling and Execution uh, Language. The unique thing of that language is that we can model uh, user requirements and user constraints. Thanks to that, we are able to, to optimize the application deployment. Uh, and uh, another unique thing uh, uh, about Melodic is the ability to decide what is the best deployment. Yeah, because uh, usually we want to deploy application and we have the certain goals and uh, the goals are usually contradictionary. Yeah? Uh, we can optimize, it is some kind of the trade-off between the cost and performance, cost and security. If we want to optimize only cost, then the simplest thing is just simply not to deploy application at all because the cost will be zero, but of course the performance and other features also will be zero. So we need to find the trade-off between the performance and cost, security, and cost and other features of the application and Melodic is optimizing the deployment of that based on the uh, on the collected metric and not only technical metrics like CPU usage, memory usage, but also on the business metric which are defined in the application, yeah? like average time of the processing user request or average, average time of the job uh, calculation. And how the melodic work? Uh, first step is to model application in the camera language, and uh, it unfortunately needs to be done manually, but it is done once. You need to model your application. Uh, and then application is deployed. Initial deployment of application is done using the standard parameters, which are in the, uh, in the camel model. Uh, and then initial deployment is done into the, to the selected cloud providers. Then Melodic started to collect metric from the running application and based on the values of the metric uh, is able to optimize deployment. So to add resources, to remove resources, to move some resources from one region to another or from one cloud provider to another. Also, Melodic is continuously fetching the cloud providers' offers uh, from the top leading uh, free cloud providers and also from the open stack based cloud providers. And based on the current offer, is able to move some components of the, <coughs> of the application. And yeah, we will show, Ala will show that, uh, that live. 
And uh, we are continuously developing Melodic, so we are adding new features. One of these features is polymorphic uh, adaptation, so we want not only to add or remove resources, but also to use the most appropriate resources for the given task. For example, if we have the application components which is, uh, which is using GPU or FPGA, then we can decide to deploy the component on the machine with the GPU if it's heavy used. Yeah? If it's not heavy used, then we can deploy that on the machine with the CPU, which is cheaper, but of course the performance is uh, is lower, so that's the one concept which uh, we are working on. And the second one is proactive adaptation, because yeah? currently Melodic is uh, reactive, so fetching the, uh, Melodic fetching the metrics from the application and based on the value of the metrics, add or, re or remove the resources. So, for example, if the number of the users is too high or the request processing time is too high, then Melodic add or, or remove the resources. But in the proactive adaptation, we want to predict. Yeah? We want to predict that uh, the number of the users is rising, so we want to add these resources proactively to be able to handle peaks without the uh, degradation of performance and ergonomy of using the application. So that is the second concept which we are working on uh, and yeah how the melodic works in practice yeah? AI investments is uh, one of the early adopters of melodic and is using uh, melodic for the optimizing its cloud deployment AI investments is a polish uh, company which um, uh, created the software for using various machine learning methods to optimize the investments portfolio. Uh, and uh, AI investments is uh, focused on the uh, time series forecasting, financial time series forecasting and optimization. And of course, both of these tasks requires a lot of the resources. And uh, yeah, the optimization of cloud resources is, is crucial for for um, that type of the company. And typical business goals for the AI investments is to train certain number of the, of the machine learning models, like for example, 50 predictions models in one hour. Yeah? And how it works. The business investments analyst in AI investments starts to, to, to training models, so send the request to train the models. And initially, the on-premises resources are used yeah, because there are available, there, there are already bolts so in place, and, and uh, the, the training starts on that resources. But usually, it's not enough. Yeah? So Melodic is calculating how long this training will take on the on-premises resources. And if it's too long, yeah, so the, the longer than the business expectation, then additional resources are deployed automatically to the cloud uh, and uh, these resources automat are automatically used to, to process the data. Again, Melodic is checking the, 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 the metrics yeah? and if the expected time for the processing is one hour or below, then, uh, then yeah, new resources are not added. Yeah? Uh, and uh, these resources are used for the processing. If the processing is finished, uh, then all of the resources are automatically removed from the cloud to save the cost. So as you can see, the use case is very simple. Yeah? Just to add the resources or remove resources in the uh, proper way, but the benefits are really significant. Yeah? Uh, for the AI investments, the difference between the not optimized deployment, like cloud-only deployment, the cloud-only is in the first, uh, first row at the top of the table, or on-premises only, uh, is about, uh, about uh, 175,000 US dollars. So this is the difference between the optimal and the, the, the two extremes of the, 
uh, or the most expensive uh, variant, which is not optimized. Yeah? So as you can see, there are significant cost savings using that approach. And thanks to that, AI investment can use uh, more, uh, more computational power and achieve uh, better results. Yeah? And this is a typical, uh, typical, this is the real example of the, of the AI investments. Uh, results based on the AI optimized uh, deployment. So as you can see, the benefits of that type of that approach are huge. Yeah, and Melodic, Melodic is open source. As I said, you can download it uh, here. Yeah, it is released under Mozilla Public License 2.0, and yeah, can be used. And I think now Ala will present how the melodic works uh, live. Yeah, because that was, that, as I said, my theoretical introduction. And now uh, Alicia will show how it works. Uh, and Ala is a team leader of the development uh, team of melodic. So if you have any technical question, Ala is probably the best person to answer. Yes, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, during my part of presentation, uh, I would like to present you how uh, our project works in practice. So now I need to switch off the presentation and uh, show you the melodic web page. Uh, so here we can see the uh, initial view of melodic deployment process. Uh, and now we can see that uh, our deployment process uh, is uh, being performed now. Um, but uh, at first I would like to I show you how to configure our platform and how to start such process. Um, and also we will observe uh, not only the first initial deployment process, but also uh, a reconfiguration process and metric uh, uh, predictions um, because uh, we, uh, we not only react on a uh, current uh, real uh, situation, but we would like to predict our application performance, uh, predict uh, metrics and react uh, in advance in order to ensure uh, the most optimal uh, deployment for us. Uh, so Melodic uh, now uh, is performing application deployment. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, I would like to describe you how Melodic works in background. Uh, the first step in Melodic usage uh, is to define a provider settings. Uh, in this step, uh, we need to uh, define which cloud providers we would like to use in our deployments. And also we need to provide uh, uh, credentials to our cloud accounts. So for example, in case on uh, AWS, uh, we need to provide our, uh, our uh, developers uh, credentials, so uh, secret, uh, and user. Also, it is possible to configure uh, our private uh, properties, which we would like to use during our uh, deployment. Mm, for example, a set of private images, which you would like to use, uh, and also, for example, preferred security group. Uh, on uh, my virtual machine, when my Melodic platform is installed, I have already configured, uh, as you can see, uh, credentials and settings for two cloud providers, for uh, AWS and also for OpenStack. Uh, but Melodic supports uh, 
also Azure as well as uh, GCP and Octawave, a uh, quite small uh, Polish uh, cloud provider. So in this place, we can configure all of our cloud accounts. Uh, after that, uh, we can uh, start the whole deployment process. Uh, in this place, um, we need to upload our XMI format. Uh, so the first step is to model our application in Camel model, in Camel language, which was mentioned by Pavel at the beginning also. Camel is human understandable form. Uh, we model our application in Camel and after that we need to transform it to XMI format. XMI is the form understandable uh, for melodic and we need to attach such XMI uh, file here. Uh, just at the beginning of our presentation, uh, I have already attached such model for our application, uh, which uh, we, uh, we are uh, deploying now. Uh, and here also we have information that uh, our model, um, our model uh, also can have secure uh, sector variables uh, because it is possible to put uh, some uh, secure uh, content to our model and not uh, define it uh, directly but uh, but uh, put uh, it as uh, uh, but put it uh, in a specific way and after that, just after uploading the uh, XMI model, uh, we are asked for providing these values, these secure values, and they are stored in secure store. Uh, and also here it is possible to, uh, to uh, configure our model in proper way. Uh, we have a dedicated tool for that, uh, UF Creator. Uh, so it means uh, utility function creator uh, because it is uh, mm -hmm. really important to properly configure, to properly uh, model our application uh, in order to ensure uh, the most optimal deployment. Uh, and here we have various possibilities uh, to configure our model, for example, by function, by template, and by plotting. Uh, here we have, uh, for example, our application model and we can configure uh, how to use specific metrics uh, during our uh, application optimization. Uh, but now uh, we can back to our uh, process. Uh, so uh, in this step we have model up, uh, model of our application. We attach this model. Uh, it is of course validated and after that stored in database. And uh, here we have the last step, uh, which is needed to perform manually by us just before automatic deployment. Uh, so in this step, uh, we need to choose which application we would like to deploy uh, and which cloud providers you would like to use. Uh, for example, we can use all possible uh, providers. We can choose only one. Uh, today, I would like to focus on deployment on AWS. So just before our presentation, I choose only AWS with my uh, properties. Uh, and after that, we can uh, go to the last step uh, where we only need to push the big green button and start the whole process and after that, we can relax and observe 
how Melodic uh, performs the deployment of our application. Uh, but as I mentioned, uh, I um, started the whole process uh, at the beginning because the whole deployment is quite complex uh, and also because of that uh, time consuming. So I needed to do that uh, a few minutes before. Uh, now we can uh, come back to our deployment process and we can see that it is even already done now uh, because all boxes are checked as uh, as done uh, and I would like to uh, I would like to uh, describe this process uh, so the first step is fetching offers uh, in this step Melodic fetches offers from previously selected uh, cloud providers in our case from AWS and after that from these offers we can also observe the uh, uh, details of these offers. So we have our clouds, hardware locations and images and from these offers Melodic uh, chooses the best uh, configuration for us. But how Melodic uh, know what is our configuration? So we have our constraint problem uh, which was defined in Camel model uh, in case of our application, uh, we have Spark-based application, uh, which is modeled from uh, as which is modeled as uh, two components, so worker and uh, and master. Uh, we have one Spark master which uh, manages of uh, the application um, performance and. Uh, we can, we, uh, we can have many Spark workers. Uh, the task of Melodic is to uh, ensure the proper, the most optimal number of these workers. In our, uh, our constraint problem, we defined that we would like to have from one to maximum 10 uh, workers. Uh, here we have our uh, uh, requirements from worker course uh, and uh, we defined that we would like to have exactly one spark master also we have requirements uh, for providers for both uh, spark master and spark worker As, and after that melodic performs next step so the uh, rezoning part, uh, here it finds uh, the most optimal solution and we can observe it here. So in this case, we have at, uh, at the beginning one worker with eight cores uh, and also we have uh, one master, Spark master. After that, it is time for deploying. Uh, in this step, a Melodic uh, performs deployment of our, uh, of our, uh, the best solution. Uh, so real virtual machines uh, are being created in our providers. Uh, in our case, of course, we would like to see the result of this deployment. Uh, and here we will see a list of our already created virtual machines. Uh, so here we can see uh, detailed information about the, these VMs. Uh, so uh, IP addresses, uh, provider, also uh, detailed information about uh, uh, localization uh, of these VMs um, and uh, technical information about hardware, image, and so on. Uh, of course, we would like to monitor uh, performance of our application. In order to do that, 
uh, we can click monitor application button and we are redirected to Grafana. Uh, Grafana is the tool for uh, monitoring applications and displaying uh, statistics. Uh, also, we use uh, this tool uh, to monitor applications uh, deployed by Melodic. Um, of course, each application has own dashboard, uh, has own metrics, uh, own uh, uh, parameters to measure. Um, so we need to create a dedicated dashboards for each application. Also, our application, so general application, has own dashboard, uh, and we can see here how our, how our application works uh, and what uh, what it is uh, in the background of our application. Uh, on this dashboard, um, we can see uh, at first number of instances. Uh, so now we have two instances. Uh, one worker and one uh, master. Um, the limitation of traffic lights means if our application with current configuration uh, will finish on time or not. Now we can see uh, the red light, so it means that a current configuration uh, is uh, not sufficient and we uh, need to provide additional resources. Uh, also, we can observe here estimated time left, uh, estimated time at time left, uh, because in our requirements we defined uh, our uh, expected time. And we can see uh, that our uh, estimated pr predicted time uh, is uh, higher than time left. Also, uh, here we can see a number of cores. Uh, if we... Okay, now we can see also, uh, also another metrics. Uh, so, uh, our predictions and current information if we finish on time or not. Uh, here we have average, uh, average uh, length uh, of one task. Uh, also estimated time and another matrix, which means if we finish uh, on time uh, or maybe we will finish too soon. Uh, okay, so now we uh, we are expect that uh, we need to addition we need to have additional resources and in the background uh, melodic performs for us reconfiguration process and after this re reconfiguration process uh, we are expect to have more efficient worker and uh, after that the performance of our application should be better uh, and we will uh, see it soon, uh, but now uh, it, is, uh, it is the end of our deployment, uh, deployment uh, doing by Melodic uh, presentation. So we observed the reconfiguration process uh, and, uh, and the whole process uh, is done fully automatically by Melodic. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any, any questions, uh, please feel free to ask, but maybe uh, individually, because I think that uh, we are uh, over time a bit. <laughs> Next question. Mm -hmm.